Good morning! It is the Saturday before Christmas and today we are having a tacky sweater puppy party. So I'm going to have everyone over from work from the marketing department and we're going to have a fun to get together with some food and some dogs and let the dogs play. And I've started getting all the food out over here. I haven't got my tacky sweater on yet. I've got to go put my snowman sweater on that I wore at our work party too, but I'm starting to get all this stuff set up. So we're gonna have mimosas and I've got a bunch of different drinks, like some sodas and some tea. I'm gonna get sandwiches and some veggies and fruit set out over here. And then we have a number of desserts and everyone's bringing some different things. I found these cute napkins at Home Goods. They're Ray Dunn, Merry and Bright. So I've got those set out. I want, I wish I had this tray in like a silver or red. Um, but I only have it in this blue from our frozen party, so that's why I keep using that. But I'd like to get that in a silver or red for entertaining. So I'm going to get all of our food out. I'm just trying to work on getting the different sandwiches and food on, on the plates. I've got Spotify going on the TV over there. Penguin just got into his first present. I was sitting over here and I heard rustling and I was like, what is that? That sounds like paper. He had decided to go get a present from under the tree, so we have to take that away. So I'm just getting this stuff put out real quick and everyone should be here shortly. He feels very remorseful for chewing on the package. <laughs> okay, I've about got everything out. I just have a couple meat trays. I'm gonna pull out the last minute. I've got some desserts and other people are bringing things for passing. I'm gonna open up these cups and some silverware. And this is handy because it comes in a serve and store container. So I'm gonna get all that stuff out. And then here in the fridge, I just have a fun meat platter and some little finger food sandwiches. And then I also have a veggie tray that's got different veggies and things in it. And then I've got some extra things like this cheddar brick and things like that if we need some extra stuff. But I'm not going to put it all out because uh, people are bringing some things as well. So I've got tea over here and then in our drink station I have... Well, like beer and wine, of course. We're going to have mimosas, so I've got the champagne over here for the mimosas. And then I've got a couple different sodas and things in there for us to have. So, my plan over Christmas is to get this stocked up while we have family here. So, we've got a bunch of different drink stuff. Because I pretty much drink only one thing when I'm here, and that's champagne. So, I don't have, like, a good variety or anything. And also, I am now in my sparkly, tacky sweater. It's got my sequin snowman on here, and I've got my snowflake earrings, and I've got my Christmas Alex and Ani bracelets on, so I'm about as christmas up as I'm going to get. And I enjoy doing this sort of thing, so it's it's like, you know, it takes the extra time to run around and get everything, but I really enjoy doing stuff like this. I so. just really enjoy getting everyone together, and of course it's fun for the dogs to be able to play, and it's fun to be able to see everyone for the holidays. So, Penguin's out here sunning himself now. We, it has been raining the past couple days, but luckily it's been nice today and the end of yesterday. Penguin, don't eat, ugh. What are you eating? But there are like little mud puddles, so hopefully the dogs don't get too muddy. Come here, bud. You got it all over your nose. So we're having our get together today and then we are going to be running around getting things ready because we're having family coming and visiting on the 24th and staying through Christmas. So we're going to host Christmas here. So we'll be sharing our Christmas day and vlogs as well and sharing what the girls get for Christmas and what they get for Santa and all of those fun things. So that'll be the next thing after we get together today. I'll, you know, kind of get everything <laughs> ready for the next event although I haven't done any wrapping yet these are all packages the girls have wrapped they have all their packages out here I hadn't put the little ones up there so Penguin didn't get a hold of those he got a hold of that red one down at the end is the one he got a hold of today the packages are a no-no Penguin but I have got to start doing some serious wrapping tonight because I am obviously behind it looks like the kids are not getting any presents but they are and you might too he can tell something's going on. He's like waiting. Like, hmm. What was all this busyness for this morning? And the girls are all just off playing quietly in their rooms. Isabella's upstairs. 
laying upstairs. And Natalie's over here in her room. We have a small litter of Funko Pop items <laughs> from her opening. Hello. Hello. They're not here yet. I'll let you know when they get here. Hey. What you doing? Bella just got into the veggie tray. We're gonna go ahead and have the kids eat. But she just ate about half the broccoli, or half the broccoli on the, her plate. <sighs> It's good that you like broccoli, Isabella. <laughs> Penguin's doing his patrols outside. I'm happy that I saved this chocolate milk for the holidays. You're, you're glad that you it's saved so it from school and brought it home from after school care? It's a plastic, but it's still breakable, so you don't want to squish it. So the kids are excited because they get to have Sprite. They don't get Sprite except for special occasions. So I had some over there. Are you gonna try it? Do you remember what it tastes like? I'm gonna see what her reaction is. Sour. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. I love it. So I it's like a special up. treat for them to have Sprite. Yeah, for like parties. So we had a good time at our puppy party and all of Penguin's friends left. And he's walking around whining looking for them. Where'd they go, buddy? They had to go. So he had two dog friends come over to play. He had to go home. He's gonna watch him pull out. Oh, that's so sweet, he didn't do this last time. He's like sad that they had to leave. I'm gonna work on putting everything away. It was really good and and these dips from Publix, I actually didn't get this dip out whenever everyone was over. I just grabbed a little bit as I'm putting things away, the buffalo chicken dip. Those dips at Publix are really, really good. But we had um, some treats from Target, they were good. And then of course, like all the Publix kind of deli stuff was um, a hit as well. So I'm going to clean this up and post some pictures and then figure out what I'm going to do with the rest are taking a break from watching some Fancy Nancy. Isabella's got a bunch of snap peas over here, apparently. Snap peas? Yeah, snap peas. What are those? That's what you're eating. That's what they're called, the snap peas. Oh. You have your, baby, your bitty baby? Yeah. Natalie's taking care of her bitty baby. Do you have fun with the dogs? Do you enjoy playing with them? Yeah. They were so it's about 4 o'clock now and the kids are finishing watching some Fancy Nancy episodes. We have the movie Wally that we got through Netflix. We're still some of the last people in the United States that get Netflix DVDs in the mail. So there's that. We um, still do the DVD program and we also have Netflix like on the TV. But we got Wally on the on the DVD that I think we're gonna do Wally party tonight and make some dinner. Um, so today went really super quickly. It was a fun day, but it went really super quickly. So other than that, I'm just gonna try to get some wrapping done tonight. And that's gonna be the main things to get done for the day. So I am in my office. I'm gonna hang out here for a few minutes. I think I'm gonna try to do a live real quick. And I'm also gonna be spending some time in here later because I need to wrap presents, but I pretty much just laid on the couch for a few minutes and watched Fancy Nancy with the girls. And I went and changed and put my pajama pants on because I think we're going to be in the house for the rest of the night since we're doing a movie party. And I'm going to go and make dinner in a couple minutes. I think we're just going to have like fish and veggies and that sort of thing. But I thought I would just kind of come in here and sit for a few minutes. I never really get a chance to do that like when I am here um, on the weekends and I'm just trying to get things done. And I've got a filming list that I've got to film off and blah, blah, blah. Um, I never really get a chance to just sit and look. And so I'm going to be doing a video coming up soon about New Year's, New Year's resolutions and my word for the new year. You guys know I usually do that every year. Um, and I also kind of have some kind of big goal projects. And one of them I'm very excited about. I can't really share anything about it yet, but it's kind of more um, a business-like thing. Um, kind of um, an idea that ties into what I'm going to be doing more with on YouTube and just like putting good things out into the world type of thing. So I'm excited about that. And I don't really know how to go about doing it. So that's basically what I'm kind of researching right now. So anyways, I will definitely let you know if I can figure out how to do it. Um, but then the next thing 
that I want to do and it kind of ties in with that but also ties in with Scentsy and filming and just kind of my life in general is my one of my big nugget projects for this year is to figure out this space in this room and figure out what I need to do to make this room functional and what I need to do to kind of make the space work. So I'm going to show you the hot mess that is this room because it's got all kinds of like unboxing things all over and it's got like Christmas presents that are in here. But I want to kind of um, look at the space and I need to come in here like this and just kind of like sit quietly and kind of envision what I want to do with the space. I know I'm going to have to get new furniture and some of the furniture in here I'm going to have to get rid of. But I just kind of want to think about what I actually want because I don't even really know what to get at this point. Um, it's a pretty it's a pretty decent sized room. Um, I don't know if it's quite as big as the office that I had in Michigan. Um, if you guys remember on the lower kind of level I had that bedroom that was kind of offset over to the side. And the only downside to that bedroom is it was right next to the laundry room. So if I was doing laundry, <laughs> I always had to make sure the sound didn't carry through. But other than that, it was like great because it was kind of off to the side. There wasn't anything really down there other than the laundry room. And you couldn't really hear any kid noise or anything. Well, at this house, this bedroom is kind of right up by the front hallway. And so if anyone's going in and out of the front door or that sort of thing, um, you can hear all of that in this room. You can also see everything <laughs> in this room as well. So um, I really want to get the storage and organization ironed out for this room. And my husband was saying that he wants me to look into like craft desk um, to kind of make it like a crafting space and an office because I do like doing crafts and I want to do those videos more. Like obviously you guys, if you've been around for a while, you remember all the wreath videos that I've done in the past and all that. So I really enjoy that kind of thing, especially when I have the space to do it. But then also um, the Cincy, you know, is doing very well and I need a space to like organize all that stuff and he was saying that he thought like a craft organization area, craft storage would work well for that too. So I can pretty much take up all the walls and I've got a decent amount of space to work with. I just have to figure out what configuration works and I guess basically just try to get a bunch of this old stuff out. So that's kind of my big goal for 2019 is to figure out what I want to do with this room, find what I want to order, um, and then just get it done. Like, so basically, you know, try to find the right set of crafting, desk, storage, etc. There's enough room in this room. I could put an island in if I wanted. Um, I would just probably have to get a smaller chair, and I'm going to decide what I want to do about this chair. This chair has really served its purpose. Um, it's really, it's a big oversized chair, so it's not quite as big as a love seat. Um, but it's bigger than a regular chair. So I could just get a normal chair for filming. Um, this does pull out into bed, but no one ever wants to sleep on it. It's not the most comfortable. Um, so I need to figure out, you know, what's going to work the best, I guess, is overall. I do like having the option of extra bed space in here. So I could get like a day bed or something like that. Um, it's just a matter of figuring out what it all is going to fit, I guess. I could also, I just looked over, there's a huge, gigantic mess over there right now. But around my jewelry cabinet, and some of that stuff can go in the master bedroom, because there's tons of open space in the master bedroom. This chair could actually go in the master bedroom, although I think I found a different chair I want to put in there. Um, this chair could actually probably go in that corner. Um, I don't know how that would work as far as filming, because the window's right there. But anyways... I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about this room. Uh, I would have liked to have it done before now, but obviously life <laughs> and time and all that good stuff. So I just really haven't had the mental space to even think about it. So long story short, if you have like a crafting desk setup that you love or, you know, if you um, have an idea what you would order, if you have like a room this size, Feel free to leave a comment down below because I am open to suggestions. I haven't even had a chance to look into it or research it, um, plan out a budget, plan a timeline, and I haven't planned any of that. 
Um, but if you have something that you really love, leave me a comment down below. And I'd love to take a look at it because I just want to start getting my headspace around it and start really thinking about what I want to do with this. So part. here is my filming space in all of its glory. So I love this thing right here. I've had this in my office for a number of years. I really don't want to get rid of it. I have all kinds of unboxing things and Christmas presents and all kinds of nonsense down here on the floor and more boxes over there. Um, purses that I've done videos with. I've got my lights. There's my Christmas tree here in the office. Um, so the corner is actually bigger than it looks. Right now it looks really tiny because all that crap's piled up over there. But if I move that jewelry cabinet into my room, a chair would probably fit over there. Maybe not this chair because this chair is so big. But a chair would fit in that corner. Over here in this corner I have this purse cabinet which doesn't necessarily have to be in here. It fits right there. But it doesn't have to be in here. But I'm thinking kind of like the big crafting area. This is going to move, but this, but I will keep this. I really love this. So what I proposed when I was talking to my husband about it was move this setup, because I really like how that looks, um, to that corner and move the jewelry armoire to our room. And then I would have this whole side and corner for some sort of crafting desk setup and possibly getting a smaller chair to film within the corner and then if I got a smaller chair I would probably have enough room to get an island out here in the center if I wanted it. That's the thing right now is I just don't even I don't even know what I want to get. So again it's a work in progress hopefully by the end of 2017 this 2000 <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> I'm doing this at work too. I'm like 2008, 2017. That's so random. Hopefully at the end of 2019, um, I have a better idea or it's done. Hopefully by the end of the year, this room is done and I have organization space. Because <clears throat> really the big thing right now is I just need easy like shelves or something to store like Scentsy samples and all those sorts of things on there. So I, you know... Neat, I don't know, so I have some place to put them. And another thing is, is a wrapping station would probably also be good because I'm the person that always wraps everything and this is where I'm doing it here at this house. So anyhow, again, let me know your suggestions. I should post on Facebook too because um, people are usually really good to leave suggestions on there. There's what the tree looks like at night in my office. And I am going to go make dinner. Oh, the lights outside are lit up too. Oh, and one of my friends brought over... Somebody brought wine as a gift, but one of my friends brought over Ray Dunn. Said that that was cool. I'm going to go over here and get the fish. I preheated the oven and we're going to have some fish and veggies. And some potatoes for a side for dinner tonight. And one of the things that I got Isabella for her birthday was this National Geographic Kids magazine. It's got different things on the inside about different animals. This one just happens to have a cute penguin poster on the inside. It's got different um, articles and cool facts and all that. So she's been enjoying this. I got it for her birthday, but I think it just started arriving about two months ago. So this makes a quick and easy meal to make when you're just trying to toss some things together. I had some green beans in the cabinet so I made those and then I had these potatoes left over in the cabinet as well. The fish has got about a couple more minutes left on that and it will be done and I think we're gonna have a Wally -E movie night tonight. Making some popcorn for our Wally -E Disney night. I think one really likes popcorn. <laughs> 